All right, so talking of our FS module, you use everything that is available in the FS module is just to handle files and folders related activities in your project. Node.js makes it very easy to create and update the content of a file using the FS module. You, we have different function, like what we just witnessed in this code, we, we imported the right file method, which is available in the FS module slash promises. And this is promise-based functions in the FS module. And then using this, we can then use the await to call our right function. And the right function has expect two parameters. The first one is the name of the file you are writing to. The second one is the data you want to write to the file. Once you call the right file method and put these two parameters, Node.js will handle the task of writing the data to the file which you have specified. And what we did here, we created a function which we can call anywhere to write a file for us. So this is a reusable function we've created. If we can call this function in different parts of our application where we need to write content to a file. And whatever the data you are passing to it, it will be very easy for us to write that data to the file. And uh, you can also, when you are calling the function write to file, you specify the type of file. So if we come here and say the file we are writing to is doc, you know, doc, and then we rerun our node project. And yeah, it's done. Now you look at our folder, we have doc, file dot, uh, doc here. When you open it, you will see the content of our file. Now, this file can be opened if we come here. If you have Microsoft Word or any Office related data, you can open that with a, a doc. It will now open as if it's a normal Word document. Just as you can see now on my screen, it's opening for us as if it's a standard Word document. With our Node.js, we have been able to create a doc document from the data we have. I close it now and then I'm going again to our project and the files.js and change this to docx, which is the recent uh, standard for the document, for Word documents. And then I'm going to run it again. I didn't close the clear, uh, delete the other files, just run this. Yeah, you see, we now have the second files.x. And then if you go to our project folder, we'll still be able to open the docs. You look at it here now, it's docs kind of a file. When you put your course there and Windows will give you the information, you see type is docs document. And then you see the size, just you have been able to create a standard Word document. If we still click open, you will see the file and the content of the file is awaiting us in our Word document um, document uh, software. So you can uh, extend the content of this file, you can edit on it, it's a normal standard Word document you've created. Okay, and um, if you we can come here and edit our file, we can change anything we want to change here, the way we can really operate on a standard word document so if we come want to change the font type and then we'll change the what is it the font size and then we we'll save this our document so you want to keep this format yeah we'll be able not to update our document so this is what we can do with the fs module you can create different type of file what you just need to do is to put a file name you do the extension and Node.js will handle the creating of the file and writing the content of the file into that file. Okay, and um, let's proceed again. Now we need to see the append form method. I'm going to create another function. So we see async function, the name of the function is append data file. We still have two parameters, which is 
file name and data. Okay. So now, instead of using the write file, we now need to use the append file method. So we need to do await append file. Okay, from the fs large promises. If we still use this, it's coming from another, just from the fs module. Yeah, and then we can see what is he expecting? He's expecting the part of the file and the data. So let's see uh, files.pst. And then I'm creating a second data now. So let's say const data to append. So now I create the data. I'm going up again to the browser. And then I will copy some group of text. So I'm copying from here, you are home. So you look at you are home. Now I'm pasting it. Okay, this is the data we want to append. Now let's come back again to our function. I need to wrap this in a try catch in case we have an error. So let's just say we we'll log our error in case there is an error. And then we we'll say error. Put our error then. I bring in this. And then put data. So instead of putting files or TST, because we want our function to be reusable, they can use it anywhere. And they are, they are where they are using it, you can then specify the file name and the data instead of making it static. So now at the success of this, we can console.log data has been appended to file. We we'll still put the name of the file. File name. I think I'm having an error here. Our weight has no effect on this is not an asynchronous function. So we put a sync here. Sorry, uh, we need to import the one from the promises. So I uh, we need to import from the promises here. Oh, sorry, uh, I'm, I'm changing the other one. All right, let's deal with promise based. Since you've learned promise, let's deal with promise based code to make our code simpler and cleaner to use. It's, okay, so now let's do the appending now. We can call our bare function append data to file, and our file name is, is still the file we use files.txt. Uh, let's call data to, uh, to append. Data to append. Okay. Now let's look at our files.txt first. Let's look at the content. You look at where it stopped. It stopped at cost, rate, and loan cost. This is the last line of it. Now I'm going to run node files and hit enter. So we Come back again and call our function. Let's see. I think I have not updated the file again. Let's come again. Oh, 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 sorry. I created another file. The name of the file doesn't match. Let me delete it. It doesn't match with files. I instead I call only file. Uh, we didn't notice it. So let's put S here to match with the other one. So let's open our files.txt. Yeah, this is our last line. Then I call this. Now you see a new line have been added, which is homemade. Home remedy is a for this and that. You can see that this is the last line that have been added. Now I'm going to delete it again. I'm going to delete the data that have been added. Okay, so let's come back to our code. What you look at the data, let's do an, a, a new line. Okay, from here, so we put slash n. This slash n means 
do this in a new line. First of all, create a new line and then before you the rest of the data. So let's now open our files.txt. Yeah, you look at it here now. We now have our data in a new line. Look at where the other one ended. Then look at our new set of data have been added to our code. So if you look at our files.txt, our file.js, you say your home must be a So let's look for where this is in our project, in our files.txt. Let's search for this. Yeah, you see that it started in a new line. And you see the other time it continued where we stopped, but because of this last end, it started in a new line. If I still remove this and in our code, we have slash n, also have slash n. And then I put node L, I run the file again, and then come to our files or TST. You see that now we now have a space created for us, not just in a new line, we have two space created for us. So we have been able to format our test by including new lines in the file uh, data we are appending. So these two functions are almost the same. The difference is, they append, we add the data to the existing data in the file. It will add the content of what you are appending to what is already existing on that file. While right file, we add the content and replace what is there already. So that is the difference between the append and the right file. Now we have another method called open. Now, the open method can also open a file and also append the data of a file to it and make uh, help you to write content to it. it. It accepts different parameters. So let's create a function that will help us to use the open method. And then we we'll see how we can use it. So let's say async again. function open file now we see have the file name and then the data we want to write to the file so okay, to use this function we first need to open let's uh, create this uh, i'll try catch again since we are using promises here we'll be able to catch error if error occurs we'll just say please um someone you Catch. What do you press before the order? Is it escape? I'm um, sorry. Um, is it that all this error and all this thing came out. Uh, you just if I type like this VS Code, I just click this particular one, the second one, the try and catch. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, once you click, you look at the front. They're saying try catch statement. It will generate the the try catch block for you. If you click only this one, it will only uh, write that you need to add your that session by yourself. You need that to do the cat block, catch, and then you put your error here. But if you click the second one, it's going to generate the entire the try catch block for you. So uh, to use the open method, you, you can use it to uh, open the file. So what we can do now, you say, create our file now, and then we'll say await, open, And what we are opening is still the file name. Now, the open accept different parameters. It accept a flag. If you see the first one is URL, it accepts now the second parameter for flag. And in this case, we are going to use the W. The W stands for right. The W stands for right. You can use A for append, W plus, A plus. There are different uh, flags you can use. Uh, depending on the use case or what you want to do with the file. So after the file has been opened, we can then also see another await file dot write. File dot write, and then we put our data. And that is just it.
So under here, we can log a message again to show that it's a success. The file is open. File is yeah, open for write operation. So we can yes, it up for open. Let's just create just short test. This is to test the open function that we call our open file that we still use files.txt let's create another file open file uh, let's use underscore dot txt and then we put our data for open here okay so let me first confirm where I'm importing. Okay, I've not imported that open. So uh, um, yeah, let me simplify our import also. You know, since they are all coming from slash promises, I will remove this one. We didn't use it, so put this one here. Then I can delete this line. They are all coming from the same FS slash. Promises. So I can also import this one here, which is open. Okay. So if I run our code now, I have an error. Oh, there is an error at the down part of it. Okay. This is not supposed to be there. So just run the file again. You see, data has been appended to file FSD is data written to F file is open for write operation so let's come again and look at our file which one open file yeah look at it here open file you see we now have the content here so that is another way you can also add something to file first of all open the file now you look at one thing that is very pe peculiar with what we are doing all this file doesn't exist before so no js if the file doesn't exist is going to create the file first of all and then add the data that you specify to the file. That is two different operations that we that is taking place. But if the file exists, it's just going to add the content to the file. At this point, I don't know if you have any question. Yes, I have a question. Now you're creating a variety of files. How do you not link it up? Maybe this is the, let me say this is the back end, and you'll be creating all this file to enable you build the uh, your work. How do you not link it up to your all these files? How do you not link it up to your to your front uh, to HTML? Okay, yeah. The FS module also have is a group uh, other group of functions that are for reading the content of the file. So what we we do, I'm going to let's go back to our index code here. You know what we did here that day, we displayed a set of some uh, content on the screen for us which helped us to uh, see the content of a page so what i want to do here is i'm going to okay i'm going to create let's copy the content of this file and um, when i read the our one of the content of the files uh, from the TST, and then so let me create another server. Let me create a read file.js. Read file.js. So I'm pasting everything here, but what I'm going to do, I'm deleting all these writes. Just hold on, we'll do something amazing here. Yeah, I've deleted everything about the right apart from the header. So I'm also going to delete all these events emitter. We don't need them in our experiment this evening. Then I'm also deleting all this import, including the URL.
Okay, what I want us to do here now is say const data is equals. Now I'm making this function asynchronous so that we can use await. So we'll call the function read file from fs promises. And then it's expecting the files part. You know, we are looking for files.txt. So we are looking for the file in fs.txt. And after the file, what let's log the file here. Data from file. We put data here. Now we also write rest dot write. Then we put data. Okay. Now we are going to run our node read underscore files have an error okay i've not imported read file okay it's imported now where is the error coming from cannot find more to read read oh it's read file not file so let me remove the s yeah our server is listening on port 3000 now we are going to go to our browser now Let's look at 3000 here, port 3000, look at who is 3000. Having error. Oh, oh, this is a problem, just sorry for this. I skipped to put a wait here. Yeah, so let's run it again. And then we'll refresh this here. Yeah. So now you can see the content of our file is now in our browser. And if you come to our console, you see our file have been logged here. Okay, in the form of a buffer. But what is interesting now is that we have been able now to show our the content of our file to in our browser. So Joe, you can see one of the ways you can use the content of your file. Hello, Joe. I hope this is, is becoming interesting. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, one of the typical example or importance of this is, for example, when you upload data, you like your images to the server. In your application, you can decide to save those files on your file system or on a blob storage on the cloud. But if you are saving it in your project folder and your file system, you can use Node.js to do all those things. You're saving those images, passport, uh, profile picture, videos that people are uploading in your project into your, your file system. And equally use the FS module to fetch back those profile picture and display to people when they need it in the application. So if this is an image, we could have, we have been able to fetch it, send it back to the user, and it will be made available in our browser for them to use just the way we have been able to fetch this file. So that is what file help us to do. It helps us read the content of our file, whether it's an image, a document, a video, you read, you can read the file and send it to the user. Okay, any other question? So, okay, so my question is, uh, yeah. maybe if someone is building an uh, application or a website that requires uh, gathering of the data, let's say, for instance, the school, school of the student, so yeah. one can use something like this to make the uh, data, the content, be in an Excel sheet or exactly. what... Uh, Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's see um, an example. Let's create an Excel sheet. 
although it will not be will not be able to we won't spend time to make it look uh, like a, a search data in column just the way in rows and column but we can create an excel i think excel is s l x what again let's look for okay let's just use the csv csv which is also a format that works well so i'm stopping okay let me go to a new tab okay, i will stop this one here i'm going to go to cd node.js then i put node Oh, files dot uh, dot files no need for the JS it will go yeah now we've seen we've created a CSV file here so if you open it you will still see CSV if this was um an SF file extension we put we can still see it so I'm going back there again change the extension of one like this file for the append okay let's use this one now and call it uh, let's first look for i have mistaken uh, the extension for this so let's say it's x Excel extension all right so this is what i'm looking for i was trying to remember the last thing in the extension so i'll just paste this here and then i write I run the file again. Yeah, now look at we have our Excel file. You can see the symbol of Excel here. So if we go to the folder, I think you, we have the folder opened. You can see our Excel file here. You can open it as a standard Excel file. So if you want, so you can you can see our file now. But for you to save them everything in column, you might need some level of work to do. This is only in one column. This is in the other one. This is in the other one. This is just one column with three rows. And then we also have those spaces as a row. They are also there for us, for us you can see them. So if we had one, we want to, you know, make uh, those things to enter in different column. We need to specify. We might then need a help of a uh, library that will help us to fully utilize the power of Excel of uh, spreadsheets and create a very robust spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm going to. Okay. So let me close this. All right, so that is it about reading the file. We also need uh, to look at another function for renaming the file. You can also change the name of a file. And you know what rename is in the real life, you just change the name from one to another. And for you to do this, you require two parameters. First is the name, the current name of the file. And then the second parameter will be the next name you want to give the file. So let's create another function. Let's still go to the top. And then create another function async function. So rename rename file. So we have the old name and new name. Now we still need to use, let's use try catch. Case we have an error then we need to call the rename function from the promises so rename rename file have that imported the wrong uh, we call our function again so now we we'll say old name new new name and that's all 
So we can log here if we get to this point there is no problem say name has changed so new name so we can say here old name has changed to new name so if we have an error here we log our error Error. Error. Okay, at this point, we'll call it at the last here. So let's say rename file. Yeah, rename it f files.txt. So Test file. Okay, so let's run our code again. Now look at in our file system. Now let's look in our folder. Look at we now have a file called test file. And when you check the content, all the things you have in the other side have been copied down here. Now the reason why you have all these failures line is because of that append method all the time we are running this code is appending that line so you see that the content of our file is increasing because of that append if we comment that append now it will not increase so now when you look at the file we have been able to rename these files if we look at our let's look at it again we don't have files.txt again instead we are having the file sls or this other one we created but that particular one called files the uh, TST is no longer there. Instead, what we are now having is test file. Okay, so let's come back again to our code. Now, you see, because there is no extension here, it created the file, but we don't have extension. This is now, if you put your cursor here, it's telling you that's file. Let's go to our folder. We didn't put extension then. You see, it's just a file, but the type of file is not known. You can see that the system is telling us this is a file, but what is the type of file is not specified. So let's just delete this and rewrite, rerun our code so that we create the TST. Yeah, now look at it now. We now have the TST file. And the other one, is no longer there. So if you look at our code, what we have is the append. The reason is the first file we have, which is for files, is not there. Okay, so it it wouldn't have the old, old, those old content will not be there. So what will be there is only the append, which is going to create the file anew and add the content. If we run this again, you see, see, we still have this. Because the file does not exist for it should be recreated by that append method and the content of that append, this particular append data, we create it, we create this file, add this data, but this particular one we rename it to this. That means at every point it's only what is here that will be there. That is why when you look at the rename, it's only the small data for the append that you can see there. So there is there are still other functions like to move file from one location to another, to delete a file, to copy file to another one. But we'll look at these ones in our next class. There are still so many things to look at in the file FS module. And we'll look at all these remaining functions. Hopefully, we'll finish all of them in the next class. Then we look at another uh kind of way using streams for when you are using uh, writing a large amount of file instead of putting writing everything at once you write it bit by bit we'll also look at that but we'll stop here because of time and if you have time just try your best tomorrow make a time tomorrow and try to practice what you have learned in the fs module if you have any question you can ask before we close for the night 
And for tomorrow, please, let's try to be earlier so that we can get a lot to do. We can get more things done. So, so okay, so. All right, ask your question. You say you were talking something when we are talking. We are uh, we are we are we are doing read and um, that read function or read method. You say that um you can like you can use it to be collecting um you can collect. Let me say if your the visitors are they are having let me say like passport you can their information and you can be storing it both either on your node or or, or on the online something of that nature. But if you are storing it on the node, that node have um what's it called? Have limit like you say this one have is four gig or this one is ten gig. No, no, the like if it depends on your hosting environment, the space you buy from your hosting company is not a limit on Node.js. It's a, what Node is doing is only accessing the folder where your application is installed or the directory, the link you gave it. It can even be in another server. You just need to give it the link where to save the file. I can put all this file you see here on my desktop. What I just need to do is to tell. The, this location here, I can then, let's say, if I come to my system here, and then, okay, let's look at uh, downloads folder. I think uh, that would be, yeah, let's, I want a, a folder where we can easily <clears throat> okay, this is my uh, desktop. All right, I'm copying this now inside apps. So instead of this, I'm put uh, pasting this here and specifying this. Uh, let's use the practic also. I think uh, this will go. So uh, this is in the append. Now, if you look at my folder, this is the apps folder. Look at the things that are there. There is nothing like um, the .txt file here. So let's run our code again. If everything works well, all right. Now it's telling, giving us an error. What is the error? No such file or directory in user. Files dot this okay. Let's let's put this in the create, not in the append. Okay. I think uh, this might be because it's looking for. Let's put a TST here. And then. Is this? Run our code again. And what is it giving us? A search file. Oh, uh, we might be having. Uh, uh, I'm having this thing too here. Wow. Let's delete this particular one. Yeah, now look, I have a success. So let's look at that folder again. <coughs> now you can see the file. This is now a different location. So if this was another laptop, another server, or any other place, I have the link, direct link of the folder, and I have the permission, I can send the file there. So you look at it, we have been able to create our file outside of where our app is running. But I don't know if you are the you were able to get the answer to your question yes sir yes sir all right okay any other question okay so you guys you enjoy the rest of the night and then try to practice all this so that um when we meet again tomorrow we consider the other fs uh method there are so many things that we will not look, be able to look at all the functions, but we take important ones, um, frequently used one uh, rather, and we we'll consider other ones. Then we we'll look at the stream using the stream uh, features in Node.js two to be able to create files uh, using it so that everything will not be written at once. 
So we meet again tomorrow and um, enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good night, sir. Yeah, good night.